What's up guys, this is Mano. Today we have a new project, this Dodge Durango. I think it's a Hemi SRT. Okay, so this one we're gonna install honeycomb stripes, okay? So let's start with the installation. Okay, for the installation, we're gonna start with the hood. And this one, I'm gonna explain how to do the hood, step by step, everything. And after that, the rest is gonna be the same. So let's start with the hood and let's start with installation with the hood only first. Okay, I forgot, before you install your stripes, clean the area that you're gonna put the stripes. So I'm gonna put the stripes here, so I'm gonna clean the hood and all this i'm gonna clean it with water and soap and if you have a uh, alcohol use alcohol too okay so let's let me clean this first and the first tool that i'm gonna use is masking tape but let me clean this uh, first okay now the hood is clean the next step is to put the masking tape we're gonna put the masking tape in the middle so if you can see it has holes this is the middle of the scoop and here is the middle okay if you want to use me me measuring tape it's okay if not just co count the lines and pick the one that is in the middle you see the middle it has this plastic in the middle so it's not that hard to know where is the middle okay also remember we have these honeycomb stripes in our website shinegraphics.com the link is gonna be on the description of the video we have this for durangos challengers chargers hellcats for all the dodges <laughs> okay so let's continue with the installation okay i'm ready as you can see i have my tape in the middle in the center there's one over there there's another over there because there's a sensor right there on the inside the windshield so that's the center have one on the roof here and that one over there okay and the rear let me show you the rear so i have that one here and that okay that's the middle you can see it here that's the middle of the truck <laughs> okay so that's my guide for the stripes i'm gonna keep the stripes the closest i can to the tape this is one inch gap okay so if you want to have two inches you can leave it a little bit wider but i always like to have it like a, an inch or inch and a half gap between the stripes so let's start with the hood
So here is the cutout for the hood scoop. What I like to do always is cut the this area, the empty area, with a blade. That way it's easier to move my stripe like this or like that, okay? So let me cut that. And also, <laughs> some of the triangles or hexagonals are on the, <laughs> on the back. That one, you don't worry. Don't worry if they leave. After I remove the transfer tape, I will place the ones that are missing. Okay, so let's continue with the installation. Okay, <laughs> I forgot to press record to remove the transfer tape. I already, what I did is cut this piece. That way you have a more area to move here and you will have a wrinkle here. So in here, just leave the hexagon, hexagon and align it and here. Same way is in here, as you see, I have a like wrinkles that just, you can fix it with your finger. Same thing here. And in here, same thing, just rub it with your finger. Like this. If, and if it's a lot, lift it. Like this one. Just lift the, this and that. And as you can see, I have two missing. One and that one over there. But I have it, I have them here. So I'm gonna put them in there. But let me fix this first. This one has the the sprayer, windshield washer sprayer. <laughs> That's the only one that has this one. The charger doesn't have this. Okay, it's on the side of the hood. Not on. No, it's not exposed. Okay, so let's fix this with the blade. Be very careful here. like that so one fix fix the other one On the other side, I'm gonna make sure that I record the whole process. <laughs> this one I forgot to press record, man. Okay. And in here, just this one, tuck it under. These pieces. So I have three missing, but I still have them here. Like this. Mm -hmm. Okay, just make sure that it's in the right spot. And Good. Then the other two. Start with the bottom one. And like that is one thing. Now the other one. So 
so just align it. Like that. And like that. Yes. Perfect. You can see. Looks beautiful. <laughs> These are the 11 inch wide stripes, okay, for the Durango only. I have it on the 11 inch. So let's do the other side. Okay, guys, now we're gonna do the other side. Remember, keep the stripe the closest you can to the tape, okay? And here, you see, a gap, nice and close, okay? So the first thing that do this with the squeegee <laughs> we don't want that to happen again to us so it's the squeegee we don't want that no missing but if you get any missing remember you can put it back again don't worry don't panic <laughs> okay 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 so it's very important that it has to be and the same spot okay in here and same spot uh, over there on the top with the tape okay so a little bit more up right there now let's put the tape like this and here is good Right spot, let's see a little bit. Okay, now I'll put a little bit up because when you're pulling, it will move down a little bit here. Okay, so here we have to fold a small piece of this one, like this, and I'm Getting this, it's not sticking on the transfer tape because it's very humid in here, okay? So, let's do this too. Let's do that. But I still have to fold this. Yeah, like this have to fold this like this now let me step in here a little bit put it oh squeegee This one has to be straight. If this one is crooked, the whole stripe is gonna be crooked. Okay, make sure, got it right. Now I can remove this tape. Do this, because we don't want this to lift. Now we can lift the back. If you want, we can lift the smash. We can. Yes, like this. Oh. Oh. Okay, let's start with that. careful if you have any wrinkle don't don't uh, use the squeegee lift it first okay I got some missing okay here before 
I do this, I always like to cut it. Like this, and like this. Cut this piece. Okay. And then, from here. Now I have, I can move it like this. Like this one, and can move it like this. And now let's lift this back. Don't stick this one yet. Remove the backing paper first. The whole thing. Like this. Careful, don't stick it and make sure it's aligned with this before you stick the whole thing. Okay, in here, align it and then you can stick it. Yeah, yes. Ooh. in here let me tell you something you get uh, wrinkles like this I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna do it because this one is curved so it will shrink a little bit so let's cut this here oh, okay Lift this as you can see it. I have wrinkles here, right? Lift this uh, hexagon, lift it like this, and voila, it's fixed. Same thing with this one. Yeah. Here. See? To prevent a wrinkle. Let's lift it a little bit. Like this. And boom. Let's fix. No more wrinkles. <laughs> In here I have wrinkles, okay, so let me lift this one. Oh, I'm missing. Okay, that one we're gonna get it from the tape, transfer tape. I mean the backing paper, it's in there. In here I have a wrinkle. Yeah, I can fix it like that, very easy. Okay, another wrinkle here. And here we're gonna. Okay, let me go to the other side. And here. Lift the. Okay, here, this one we have to lift. Let's see. Be careful not to scratch the car. And then, like that. Boom. Put it there because I don't want to scratch the car. Oh, have a wrinkle lifted. Push it with the squeeze. Okay. Before I remove the transfer, I have to cut this. Uh, 
Okay. Now we can remove this. And this, I'm gonna tuck it under. Yes. So, let me go here a little bit. Oh, I didn't cut it. Okay, so... Fix. Can remove this one now. So let's put the missing hexagons. And that one is on the. It's in here. So we have two missing. Just lift it, be very careful. With the squeegee, remember to get a squeegee with this uh, buffer. I'm gonna put the link in the description of the video too, for that. And then this one too. Let's align it first. There, yes. Perfect. Yes. <laughs> As you can see, looks amazing. <laughs> wow, look at that. Ooh, <laughs> looks beautiful. Okay. So now let's part, it's time to do the bumper. The bumper, remember, the pattern it has to match, okay? Don't put it crooked, like that. So all the, the other parts are gonna be in time lapse, but remember, the pattern has to match. So let me continue doing the rest. So it's finally done, as you can see there, 
it looks amazing <laughs> remember the pattern it has to match okay it has to be even you can see here this one it matches okay for the roof on the durango it's gonna be four pieces other cars is gonna be only two pieces two stripes this one is four stripes because the roof is very big you can see let me see if i can show you that <laughs> looks beautiful in this uh, area has it has these uh, lines just push it with the squeegee okay it takes a little bit of time but it's possible to do it look at that looks beautiful and let me show you the rear so you can see it wow <laughs> even in here you can see the yeah, it's hard to see because they love the light but this one you can see it <laughs> it looks amazing you can see it there yes so it's done the link for these stripes is gonna be on the description of the video, video down below you wanna get this but let me know what you guys think in the comments thank you for watching Okay guys, the honeycomb stripes are ready. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. The link for these stripes for Durangos, Chargers and Challengers. It's the, the links for those, all of them, they're gonna be in the description of the video down below. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this one and see you on the next video.